Hey guys, Clumsy here. So many goodies this week. This time for ATS, we'll be checking out Sierra Nevada 2.2.6. Let's do this. So Sierra Nevada is one of those uh, long-awaited map mods. This is done by the team, same team behind Mexico Extremo. Team Reforma is what their name is now. And uh, this map mod changes, recreates majority of the entire California and Nevada areas. So if you see this huge gray area right here in the middle, all of that has been redone. You can see new cities, South Lake Tahoe, Red Bluff, all the other stuff. To complete a change log is in the website. And at this moment, it's not yet publicly available. But you can get an early access copy if you donate, I think, around 8 USD. But anyway, go and check out the link in the video description for their website. And you can decide for yourself. This video should help you a bit to uh, show what this map mod has to offer. I've driven a bit. Like you see this route from Reno to uh, Red Bluff. Man, that is beautiful. And it uh, feels like a brand new map, to be honest. So let's go and check it out together. We'll go from Oakdale to... Uh, what is that? Oakdale to Reno, but uh, via uh, 99 i5 north and then i80 that has been redone as well as you can see with the everything has been grayed out everything has been redone from scratch i believe so without further ado let's get going we'll be taking 15 tons of limestones and yes i am still using the uh toby eye tracker as a matter of fact let's uh, turn on that uh, i bubbly thingy so you can see exactly where i'm looking at so it's easier for me to point and i haven't uh, i'm recording this the same day when i featured that ets2 episode with the toby eye tracker so i'm not sure if you guys are liking it but i hope you are because it is quite cool isn't it the concept in itself is super cool a gadget that is able to accurately track your eye movement and uh, move the camera accordingly so I will leave a description as well a link in the video description as well so if you want to get a copy for yourself you can use the link and you can get 20% off the normal price because if you don't have any kind of head tracking or eye tracking piece of uh, device yet then this might just be for you if you want more details on the capabilities, then check out my previous video where I feature the uh, eye tracker and the Road to the Black Sea together in ETS2. That's the previous video, the video from a couple of days ago, okay? But for now, we focus on the road, because we try to focus on the road. If I can look at this thank you let's go and see what this sign is saying that sign is saying USA reworks Sierra Nevada have a nice trip I like that because it's quite uh, clear which areas have been redone like when you exit the Sierra Nevada area they'll say something like thank you for enjoying our map or something like that so it's pretty clear when you're entering Sierra Nevada zone and when you're switching to a vanilla uh, done area there's also quite a lot of work that has been done in the Yosemite area but um, and it's beautiful it's jaw-dropping in its visuals Unfortunately, on my rig, it's also jaw-dropping in terms of uh, frame rate. <laughs> I've been told that uh, it's one of the uh, early areas 
which have been done, which have been modeled. And during that time, Eblem, the map maker, was not yet well versed with the optimization techniques. Oh my goodness, I hate this skybox. Oh, I think I'll have to change it. One sec. Stay with me on this one. This is the only skybox I don't like. That one, the one previous one, was the only skybox I didn't like in uh, Natural Lux. I absolutely hate that. I don't know. It doesn't feel, uh, doesn't look good at all in my point of view. But this one, this one is amazing. And yeah, I'm, I'm starting to warm up with the eye tracker. It's it feels very different versus Track IR, but I. I like the, the feeling though. I like the fact that I don't have to wear a cap anymore and I can still move around without needing to move my mouse at all. I can keep both hands on the wheel. That's the amazing thing about it. And I am speeding because we are in California and I'm speeding like there's no tomorrow. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, amazing breathtaking areas in the mountains, in the Yosemite area, but I tried making a video there, I encountered a lot of uh, slowdowns, I even had to uh, lower the scaling to 300% because previously in, in vanilla map I can handle 400% everything maxed out uh, without sweating but yeah with this map in the forest areas, in the mountainous areas, I have to lower it down to 300% scaling and even then I am still getting a lot of problems with the, the frame rate. So I decided to go and uh, check out a different area instead. Ooh, we turn left here, okay. Stockton. <clears throat> yeah, but I believe this has been remade as well. I'm sure I-80 has been redone. One of the amazing things as part of this mod is that the highways are wider, the ramps are longer, it feels like a proper American highway. Doesn't feel like cramped and everything because of the scaling. There we go, it's our time to shine. I hope you don't mind the bubbles so much. But if you do, let me know. I'm sure there will be a oi oi oi. What the heck was that cheatering all about? If you uh, let me know in the comments and then I'll try to tally it how many people uh, like it versus how many people don't and uh, we can decide if you want to keep it or not. It's a, uh, it's a nice to have. It's a gimmick. It's not essential but it's cool. You being able to see where I'm looking at exactly like right now probably the GPS. I don't see it on my screen but I think you guys see it right because of that overlay. It's pretty cool concept. There you go. Alright, we can do this. Engine is quite struggling. And yes, I purposely went with XPSS Auto Car, this truck that we're driving with. Because I know that this truck is one of the most optimized out there. It's like SCS level quality optimization. So if you ever get any frame drops, that's most likely due to the map having too many triangles, too many trees or whatnot. But yeah, this truck is as optimized as it can get. So that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, approaching fast here. This guy is going really slow. We'll have to overtake. quite a hard time though um, sometimes when I look right especially because I have there we go this is the start of the Sierra Nevada map area you can see clearly the sign there I was looking at it you see the bubbles minor crash no injuries what does that mean yeah here we go the start of the very wide highways very tall walls and uh, yeah, as a highway-ish as it can get. Now this one feels like an interstate. This looks exactly like the, the roads I've been uh, 
driving through during the time that I was here in real life. This is how it should be. Well, except for the cars. Maybe there are too few cars. But uh, with my current rig, I don't think I can afford to uh, increase the traffic that much because it will lag. So that's the only missing link there. Yeah, you can see the signage is complete. And yeah, properly wide highways. Absolutely love it. Now this one, where the heck should we be exiting? I think it should be here. Reno. Might not have been the right merging technique. But as long as we managed it, that's fine. Oh my goodness, look at how proper this highway is. Look at how convoluted that highway is over there. Look at the GPS. Oh my goodness, Spaghetti Junction, American style. American Spaghetti, I love it. <laughs> yeah. So yes, I'm still uh, getting used to the fact of the to the, the technique with the eye tracker. Because I've gotten so used to uh, driving with the head tracker, the track IR, that I'm used to moving my head but keeping my gaze in front. Now it doesn't work like that anymore. I really have to, in addition to looking to the right, I have to turn my head to the right as well. Or in addition to moving my head to the right, I have to look to the right as well. Cannot do it halfway, otherwise the vision will be a bit conflicted. Like the game will try and mix the right and left movements. Bus driving is drunk driving. Oh, that's good advice right there. And uh, over speeding is over speeding. <laughs> Look at how wide this this highway is, guys. Absolutely love it. Right? You don't see highways like this in the normal map for sure. And so far, everything has been A-OK -okay with the frames. So this must be one of the newer areas where Emblem has already learned the technique, the secret to optimization. Because I'm seeing all these levels of the highway and still everything is super optimized yeah but I think this map would pair very well with the uh, some traffic mode or at the very least some traffic setting here and with that uh, beautiful mountain from the distance there's a bit of pop-in issues though I think that needs to be tweaked but uh, yeah, it's one of the limitations with the engine as well. Would have been so nice seeing the entire mountain even from a distance, but I think we have some graphical uh, graphic engine limitations in here. Let's squeeze in here. Thank you. Man, look at that. How many lanes? Four lanes. Properly massive. Absolutely love it. Now this feels like an American highway, right? Yeah. We have to keep left again. Oi! Almost uh, hit that guy. Very close. <clears throat> Look at all the signage there. There's a recommended. Oh, beautiful bridge. I think we have our winner when it comes to which thumbnail we should be taking. Uh -huh. So I think what we'll do. Let me go up here a bit take a quick save at this point yeah I'll take a screenshot here later oh my goodness heavy beautiful 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 speeds are slowing down revs are struggling but we are pushing it oh yo yo where's that where did that car come from Reno, 81 miles away. Ah, uh, love that engine purr. And if you're wondering which mod, which sound mod this is, this is not part of the original auto car sounds by XPS. This is from a V8 sound mod from the Steam Workshop. Go and check out the mods list link in the video description. Look under sounds and there should be something in there at the bottom part. Something V8 sounds for both K100E and uh, this auto car. Roadwork ahead. Man, ma 
massive highways absolutely love this this guy will turn last minute okay thank you for not doing that search to the right here yeah still having quite a hard time looking to the right and now we're getting a bit of uh, gpu uh, limitations i'm seeing you see the my head moving to the my eyes moving to the lower right that's because on my second monitor that's where the gpu utilization score is or rating is so uh, i'm looking at the uh, gpu usage and it's reaching the 90 plus percent at some points not so much though i think it's uh, mellowed down a bit we may have to overtake this truck but man look at the the, the beautiful mountain ranges here from afar snow-capped mountains properly beautiful trees like so oh it's so hard to choose now everywhere you look is just scenic majestic this feels like a brand new dlc doesn't it well yeah amazing so yes i can definitely understand now why alex is so uh, amazed by this mod He's been posting a lot of screenshots on the Discord. And yeah, I can definitely relate now. Properly massive highways. This is what we've been waiting for. I have to say though, Team Reforma, they're very brave. Because this area that they modified, this is one of the hotspots of SES. I can imagine that SES will be planning on doing a lot of reworks in this area from time to time they do like uh, recreating oh beautiful recreating uh, their old areas and improving them bit by bit so I, I team reform is really brave that they decided to take on this area and not wait for SCS to do the adjustments bridges may be icy something oh tricky I also love the texture of the roads there's even like an asphalt patch there which you can feel you can feel the truck uh, like treated like a mini hump nice and the next uh, the other direction is on that higher level beautiful yeah this one asphalt patch that you can feel the truck can feel Oh crap. Let's leave that guy hanging. Doesn't know how to merge. Not like we do. Oi oi oi! Told you he doesn't know how to merge. He crashed into me. <laughs> I think he got mad. I think he heard what I was saying. It was a bit salty there. Let's merge in here. But man. Yeah, this should be how highways should look like. Goodness didn't know what I was missing. I mean, I was pretty happy with what SES was giving in terms of the interstates. But now that I'm driving through these uh, super wide roads, I mean, it's, this feels completely different. Maybe next time we can try adding even more traffic and see if my system can handle it. Because that would be a proper interstate, right? I think this one, the roads are correct, the signs are correct, but the traffic is a bit too, uh, too thin for reality. Again, very hilly. Oh crap! Looking at my revs, constantly falling revs. See, look at that truck. He's really struggling there. I think he's almost at the brink of uh, falling, <laughs> zeroing out. Oh, good luck! Yeah, these guys are looking to uh, overtake now for sure. Yeah, since the, the patch, I have one. Oi, 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 bad move. Why do you have to cover me? Yeah, since one of the recent patches, they introduced back that the trucks are now affected by gravity. So whenever they try and climb those uh, steep slopes, they are slowed down significantly. Okay, good. This guy uh, knows how to turn to the right. What's not good is I lost a bit of momentum there. Uh, come on, you can 
do it overtake overtake these <clears throat> we can do it after 10 years few moments later <laughs> Those beautiful trees, huh? Right? Okay, I can overtake now. <clears throat> the only thing is, I'm finding it hard to know now which one is the shoulder. Ah, uh, there they- oh crap, I'm on the wrong lane. This is the one going to the rest area. I'm actually on the shoulder right now. Yeah, the, the, the cement, or is this asphalt or cement? I think this is only cement. It's too white, it's too shiny, that I can barely see the paint showing the lane divisions in the shoulder border. <clears throat> but that's fine, we'll make it work. Okay, looks like another one of these uh, construction zones. Or, uh, I don't know if it's an accident. I think it's an accident. Yeah. Rip. Best buy for the win. Hulk smash. Man, beautiful mountain right there. Let's have a look at that in the exterior view. Oh, yeah. Textures are a bit uh, low. But, man, that's a nice mountain. Yeah, what's nice about the eye tracking is even when I'm in the exterior view, you can see where I'm looking at. It's so easy to point stuff out. You know exactly where I'm looking. Can you even see it yet? Still. I'm not sure. Maybe because it's too white outside, you can barely see it anyway. But if I look below here inside the dash, you should see it clearly, I think. I hope the camera isn't too wobbly though. Let me know if it is and we'll try to fine tune it. I haven't quite uh, discovered the magic uh, settings yet. Yeah, a couple of pop in issues with the mountains, but overall, my goodness, this feels such like a different uh, map altogether, right? It's not just like a, a minorly uh, improved road, it's just, this feels like a totally remade road. Not only road, but the entire scenery feels like it's been remade this doesn't feel familiar at all anymore look there's even like a, a vista point there uh, a uh, lookout point for taking photos and stuff that's very nice very nice indeed and I love the bends on these interstates I can basically go full speed and still steer without risk of tipping over because the bends are very, very gradual. This is how they should be. Like minimal steering required. Man, absolutely lovely. And the textures are varied. You see all these uh, minor humps, minor discontinuities on the road, minor imperfections, which are very realistic. Cracks on the road like that, absolutely lovely car there man I'm just continuously blown away by this map mod so yes uh, we'll probably uh, focus a bit more in the coming days in the road to the black sea DLC for ATS2 but after that has mellowed down a little we'll, we'll be focusing on this map mod Sierra Nevada because it deserves all the attention my goodness this looks so beautiful yeah, now this is how map making should be. <sighs> yes. Now this makes really you uh, makes you really feel different versus driving in Europe. I get a lot of questions oftentimes. What's the difference? ETS2 and ATS, they're both truck sims. Well, yes, but you drive completely different trucks. Yeah, different looks, different mechanisms, different uh, gear. Uh, layout and most of all different map different rules different feel different vibe and this map mod 
does exactly that. There might be some imperfections when it comes to opti optimization, especially in the forest areas, so you will not be getting 60 frames all throughout. But yeah, if you stick to the highway like this, if you stick to the newer areas, you will not be disappointed. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically at cruise control and I can just uh, steer without having to worry oh there's a bend coming should i slow down which i normally would need to do in the in the default map because the default map has been squished has been compressed because of the scaling so much so that uh, the bends the curves are more aggressive than what they should be but yeah this uh, these adjustments on the highways by Sierra Nevada it's an absolute game changer this is what I'm looking for when I'm driving in a highway I want those very gradual very uh, very uh, relaxed bends where you can just stick to the speed limit and be sure that you won't be risking tipping over even if you're a clumsy trucker like me Okay, I'm getting a little bit of GPU boost here and whenever there are trees and mountains like this I think that's where most of the performance problems are uh, triggered in this map mod at least too many uh, objects maybe behind the scenes but yeah I don't think it's that bad yet I think you are able to still get a pretty smooth frame rate even on your videos even in YouTube my recording is uh, still pretty good I think but yeah just having this humongous mountain in front of you that's definitely something that I uh, do not recall experiencing before so yeah, this is something that I really appreciate it doesn't feel like um, a compressed map anymore like normally what is the normal scale 1 is to 19 1 is to 20 Oh, there's a plane right there that's uh, taking off from Reno Airport I think <clears throat> yeah it doesn't feel compressed at all like you would if you didn't uh, look at the map it you would think like it's a one is to one map because of the details because of the level of detail the uh, the expansiveness of the roads it's amazing goodness absolutely well done money well spent I must say and yes it's not yet publicly released as I mentioned in the beginning of this video but if you want to try it for yourself even before the official public release then uh, you can donate and they can give you they can include you into the early access list and they'll give you a copy but yeah a side effect of that is sometimes you'll encounter some frame drops some bugs because not everything is polished yet that's why it's called early access <clears throat> absolutely loving this though the, the pop-ins I can somehow get used to after some time there's still a bit of an immersion breaker but that's graphical graphic engine limitation but yeah. aside from that absolutely loving this man I miss driving in the US this feels great I'm betting our friends from the US are happy now although there is a bit of yeah you see that car a while ago it was floating yeah, maybe the path for the AI was not very uh, close to the ground there or something I don't know so th there are some imperfections, some work in progress areas, but overall, goodness. Yeah, I would include this in my must-have mods for ATS. This is as close as we can get to reality in these parts of the map. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Rip! I forgot this truck has actually a very limited fuel tank. Um, do we have a rest area nearby? We have something nearby. We're okay. We're getting crossing over to Nevada. That's good. 
Let's keep our eyes peeled for any possible rest areas. Uh, Reno is here. We are in Reno now. Uh, we have a McDonald's ad there. I think thanks to the real advertisements mod from the Steam Workshop. That made me a bit hungry, I must be honest. <laughs> okay. I'll go and exit here. Going to hope that there is a uh, fuel station somewhere nearby. That might have been a bad move. Oh, look at that. Skyline. Reno Skyline. Beautiful, beautiful view wherever you look. And yeah, so far, frame rate has been pretty good. I'm using a GTX 1070, so not the best card out there, not the most recent. Sorry, huh? Let me just open the map here a bit. There we go. Um, there is, there is a fuel station. There we go. That's the one I'm looking for. Perfect. Thank you. By the way, I'm using Grimes' uh, Real Companies mod. I'm a huge fan of uh, P16's mod, but currently it's not compatible for one per. 36 I believe and Grimes is uh, updated and he has some companies which are very familiar to me like 7-eleven Best Buy so it has its perks so right now if you're wondering what the real company's mod I'm using it's Grimes <clears throat> man absolutely lovely right so basically the entire trip that we were doing like 300 or oh, more than 300 miles everything was like 99% was new area and 99% was uh, proper massive highways goodness absolutely love it here we go we are saved as long as I don't lose run out of fuel in this last uphill battle we are good Just drive straight through on here. Is this a Chevron? A Chevron. Okay. I think P16 modifies this into a Chevron. Phew, that was close. I think this has been like the third time where I almost ran out of fuel with this truck because the fuel tanks you can see minuscule fuel tank right there. And yes. You can see exactly where I'm looking at, right? Yes, you should be. It's a bit subtle. I tried to make it as transparent as and as and, and as as unobtrusive. Is that the word? As possible. Is that the Walgreens? Yes, it is. Oh, there's the plane. The, the airport should be somewhere there. The Reno airport. I drove through it offline the other day. It looked a bit funny. <laughs> It's like the runway was running straight through the highway. So if the plane did not have enough runway, it would smash into the highway. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit funny that way, but uh, at least there's an airport. I'm happy enough. And even this junction, right? Feels like a proper massive junction an interstate. Absolutely amazing work. Great job Eblem and Raul. Team Reforma for the win. Yeah, the first time I drove, I drove through the Yosemite area because of course we love driving through those mountain passes. But um, it was not very optimized. It looked very nice but it was a bit uh, that my frames were dropping. So I decided to uh, go for a different route, go through the highways instead, and experience the massive highways of the US, just like how it should be, without sacrificing performance. Absolutely amazing. What does that sign say? Sparks Boulevard. There's even like road signage here. Interesting. Boulevard. <coughs> Very nice. Yeah, I had 
to lower my settings down to 300% though. I think I mentioned that in the beginning of this video. But yeah, it's not a problem. It still looks beautiful. There are a, a more jagged edges than before. But I mean, after some time, you kind of get used to it. Here's to hoping that SES continues working on their anti-aliasing settings so that we can eventually get a proper non-jagged edged picture. Okay, we are in Reno already but looks like Reno is a massive city and that is uh, very well portrayed in this map. Are we going to Reno? I don't think we're going to Reno even. Yeah, let, let me have a look at the map. 31 miles. Fallon. Ah, okay, okay. We're not going to Reno after all. That's why we weren't turning over. Yeah, move to the left, yes. Good. <coughs> the road textures became a bit different but I think this is still within the Sierra Nevada areas because this uh, this ramp is properly wide and long so you actually don't get scared of trying to merge in the highway because you have proper uh, a very long runway a very long stretch of road to uh, get some speed in which is how it should be anyway very well modeled absolutely love it Ooh, bridge incoming don't think it's for us though see where i'm looking at might be for a train looks like yeah train if only there was a train that would have been perfect ah, that's okay keep your eyes on the road and now you can uh, easily spot me and uh, what's the uh, term scold me if I am looking elsewhere because you can <laughs> easily see where I'm looking Fallon and uh, Eli Eli next exit sounds good to me guess here what I noticed though the GPS doesn't tell you to move to the right so much it's just like straight but I guess because the the on and off ramps are so long and so subtle the GPS isn't detecting that it's like a, a, a lane change a right turn basically veteran cemetery that might be one side effect of having such long and very uh, gradual off ramps you don't the gps doesn't catch those minor uh, turns anymore doesn't detect that it's a turn at all nothing here i think they can wait for me good we're almost there now wasn't that an amazing drive <laughs> goodness i enjoyed hopefully you guys did too hopefully you're not too dizzy with the bubbles and the uh, constant moving of my eyes but i'm just so excited but anyway let me know what you think and i'm going to look forward to your comments as always and now i, I mentioned this in a previous video um, so i had a family emergency and i was out and i'm planning to share the details of that soon but probably not in a public forum I probably will limit that to the patrons and the Twitch subscribers because it's a bit too personal and uh, I'm not too comfortable sharing that to the entire world. But if you are interested and if you are a Patreon or a Twitch sub, then yeah, stay tuned. I will make that very emotional, very personal video because I, I really want to share it, you know. Sharing is caring. No, no, sharing, yeah. sharing stuff like that, it helps me. It serves as an outlet for me so I want to share it I'm just not comfortable sharing it with the entire universe oh crap and speaking of the entire universe I think I just uh, 
I should have entered through there. Oh, that's closed. Where should I enter through there? Oh crap, this is uh, this is bad. Reversing a double. Never a good idea. Oh crap, here we go. So yeah, those are closed. Hmm. I can try and squeeze through there, but I don't think that's a good idea. We try something. Some evasive maneuvers. Okay. So that one's closed. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Very nice customized uh, drop off point, though. Not your usual design. I should have just gone straight through. That's where the entrance is. Yes, okay. Gotcha. Oh crap. Just don't hit anything. Okay, missed it. Nice. Oh crap. What? Didn't hit anything? Did I? Oh, shouldn't have. Alright, fine. So, uh, the parking should be right there. I'm guessing it's like a straight in parking because it's a double. So, I'm just going to turn left here. And then a right. Like so. There you go. Alright. That looks good. That actually looks good. Is it a straight in? Yes, it is. Okay, thank you for having mercy on me. I'm no I'm in no position to reverse a double trailer like this. Okay, just straight through. It looks good, slow down. Too slow. Yeah, that's as perfect a parking as I could manage. There you go. No, not that one. Yeah, you can expect it with the ne next second after you stop bugging me at least. There we go. <laughs> Good. Well, that was a fun drive. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. Let's go and uh, turn this in. Excellent. Even here, you can see where I'm looking at. 16K A34 XP. Legend. Love it. No damage whatsoever. There was trailer damage, but thankfully they didn't charge us for that. The cargo remained intact. Good. All right. Let's keep that in there. All right. Let's turn off that uh, thing. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, comment, share with your friends, all that stuff. And stay tuned for more Sierra Nevada videos because, goodness, it's a wide area to explore. Okay. So in the coming weeks, we will be doing a lot more of these. So expect more ATS vids. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Catch you in the next video. Clumsy trucking, everybody, and bye bye.